All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Timberborn, where beavers are men and men are nowhere to be found. <laughs> All right, last episode, we got some food down. We planted our trees. Uh, we've got a little bit of housing started. We've got some research stations and we've got some water. We just went through a drought. I'm going to speed up time. We're going to make things go really, really, really fast and try to get things accomplished. We also are making planks, which is great. And we're probably going to need to think about, you know, something else, right? So our research is gathering. We've got 400 research. We need to invest that research into some things. And large water tank is a great idea to do it. But we're, see, we're going to need gears for that. So we're going to have to build a gear factory. And in order to build a gear factory, we need to unlock the gear workshop. And we're also going to need some, probably some additional power. I believe we have... Yeah, the demand is, we're putting out 180, the demand is 50 right now. But if we put down the gear workshop, we are going to be doing 170. Yeah, 170. This really only takes 50 to run this thing. Yeah, it only takes 50. Okay. Yeah, so we could, let's do the gear workshop because it's going to be needed. Let's unlock the gear workshop. Let's put the gear workshop down. Yeah, so I'm really curious to see if power would go through on a building that is not complete. I doubt that it will. So we're going to build this other lumber mill and then probably turn it off because we don't we don't have the people to build to, to work it, honestly. And then let's go ahead and spend the rest of the points. I, I want to do a large water tank and a large water tank takes a lot. to. It's like 30 planks and 20 gears to build the large water tank. But it's really it's a really good uh, water tank. It holds like. What was it? 300 capacity? Is that what it said? 300 capacity? Yeah, 300 capacity, which is a lot of water. So I am going to just temporarily put one down probably over in this area somewhere. You know, these, this is a little bit tricky because of the way that uh, it's built. It's, it's huge. It takes up three spots. So we're going to need to find some room for this building. All right, we've got the gear... Uh, factory done gear workshop done and they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna start producing gears now unfortunately gears take planks so we're gonna have a little problem with the number of planks that we have and then of course we're gonna have a little bit of problem with the number of logs that we have because we really don't have that much so instead of using up the planks and the logs uh, we're gonna get some more housing down and we're gonna need more people because I just don't have enough workers so let's go ahead and get some of these other houses built. I'm going to go ahead and just build all four of these guys. It's going to give me a pretty big population increase. And I'm probably going to need to reassess my food because uh, I might be a little off on the numbers. I mean, we're looking kind of okay. But once you start adding in more people, then, you know, they're going to drink more. They're going to eat more. And matter of fact, you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going to back it off by two and then that way we'll control this growth a little bit better because I just don't want to overgrow and be stuck with having um, you know running out of food running out of water I did put down some large water tanks that we're just going to put on hold and pause until we have the resources to build them and so right now with our population we should be okay even increasing uh, the number of population we should still be okay with food and stuff but we'll, we'll have to make some hard decisions here soon all right a significant amount of time has passed i just let the game run a little bit done a little bit of a couple other things while the game was running like this farm i i wanted to make sure there was a walkway around this entire farm there's also a drought that's coming i am going to have another farm put in here and we're going to have these two areas as being my farming area I added in a couple more houses because some of my population was dying off. So I want to make sure that the birth rate was okay. And we're starting to have a little bit of a storage problem. Also, we're running out of wood, right? So they're, they're chopping down the last bit of trees. And then also, it seems like most of the trees have been planted. So we're just going to have to wait for the growth of these trees before we can uh, really start getting some more wood in. But we're, we're actually not going to wait that long. There's a whole other section over here where I could start foresting and I'm going to do that. I'm going to harvest all this timber over here so that I have enough lumber to be able to uh, start making some gears and making more planks so that we can move on to the next phase. 
All right, the drought is almost over. We barely made it through the drought. You can see I have six, four water left. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tight. So I did put down some more water storage, these small ones, and we're going to turn on another pump, but I'm hurting for people. I do have four children, and uh, I'm just waiting for them to become adults to give them jobs. I think I'm going to add another person to the water pump. I want to add a couple more people to a new farm so that we have more or different types of food. And also I want to get the gear workshop going so that we can start producing gears. And I did start cut cutting this area up here so that I have a decent amount of lumber. When the water comes back, we can start producing some more planks and get some more planks going and uh, gears going so that um, we can start producing these large water tanks, which is gonna be great because these small water tanks are not gonna cut it. We're also having a little bit of a storage problem, so I probably need to start focusing on possibly doing the large storage. Let's go ahead and unlock the large storage. Uh, it's going to take quite some time to build. It does hold 1,000 capacity. In the meantime, let's put down some small storage. And we're just going to put these guys in this area over here temporarily so that uh, we can store whatever it is we need to store uh, while the large storage actually gets built. It's going to take some time because it's all planks and gears from here on out. All right, we're getting close to having enough gears to be able to build one of these large water tanks. But actually, I made a little bit of a mistake on my housing. And I didn't leave a, a room for a path in the middle here. And so I can't do a second story. I mean, I could. You can put a, ro um, you can put a road on top of the roof. But that doesn't leave room for anything else. Like, so for leisure, there is this uh, rooftop terrace. So if I can't put a house on the second story and then a rooftop terrace because I don't have enough room, the road would take up all the space. So I need to delete a lot of these houses. They will, um, they, my beaver guys, are gonna be a little unhappy for a minute or two, but I'm gonna delete that. And we're gonna rebuild the housing. And that's a little bit of a waste because I didn't get resources back, but that's okay. It's just wood. They need to dole their teeth anyways, right? So let's go ahead and build this up. And I think this will work just fine. I also probably at this time probably need to unlock the wooden stairs so that they can get to the second story. And then also I'm going to need to do a platform so that they have like a little road that they can go on. And I'm not going to build that right now, but I will be thinking about building that pretty soon. Let's go ahead and get started on the large water tank. It's gonna take a minute to build. And I did lose a bunch of people from thirst. Unfortunately, I timed uh, something a little bit wrong. For some reason, somebody died and I didn't realize that one of the water pumps was not working. So I had a bunch of people die of thirst. Like this guy, old age, he died of old age. And I think he was running the water pump. So, but by the time that I realized that I wasn't getting any water, we had, what, five deaths to thirst? And so that's really hurt my population. I've had to rework my population, uh, give them different priorities so that they have enough, uh, at least the important areas are working and functioning. I had to turn off one of the science areas. And I'm just waiting for my population to get back up again so that I can... Uh, produce more workers to be able to to run the rest of these facilities. The forest is starting to come in really nice. So, you know, the initial planting of the forest is rough because the forester has to go to and he's got to plant each plant and get all that stuff done. But the second round is okay because the, the lumber guys cut down one or two trees and the forestry guy comes out and he plants. And I think in a day he can probably replant like five or ten or something. Maybe it's more than that, but it, it's enough that if you have two uh, foresters or one forester and two lumberjacks working that they can stay on top of the replanting. It's just the growth that you have to worry about. But since everything doesn't get cut in one day and replanted in one day, it's kind of staggered out. It works out really well. The, the forest will stay on top of each other. And if you have one or two of these 
type of uh, force around, you're in pretty good shape. I do have other trees laying around that if I really need to harvest them, I can. I mean, still have some dead wood up here, and then I have a bunch of live wood that I can harvest as well. All right, this just needs to be connected to a road. So let's put that road in. And now we've got one water tank going, which is awesome. I mean, that's a lot of water. 300 water is a lot of water. And ultimately, I can start getting rid of some of these smaller ones. And I will get rid of some of these smaller ones after the next drought. All right, let's give my beavers a little bit of leisure time. I'm going to build them uh, this little campfire area. They can kind of hang out in the evening time, sit around the fire. That'll give them a little bit of leisure until I can get the rooftop terraces built. And then, you know, they'll have even more leisure. Speaking of the rooftop terrace area, let's go ahead and build the path so that they will have a road. A, a walkway that they can walk on. And I'm going to put down the stairs as well so they have a way to get up onto that terrace area. And then I'm also going to temporarily put down my next row of housing on top up here. And I'm going to pause all of this until I'm I'm it's needed. It's not really needed right now. And then we can also put in the rooftop terraces. We have enough room for two. I'll pause those. And then we'll also put in the last house up here. And we'll pause this as well. Okay, good. Drought is here again. It's going to last almost four days. But we have plenty of water and we also have plenty of food. So there's nothing to worry about here. Our little beavers are using their campfire. All right, we do need to start thinking about adding in more power because this is not going to be enough power to run all of my facilities that I want. So let's put down another water wheel. And I want to put down this water wheel right next to the other water wheel. And we can have them both work side by side. Matter of fact, I think I can even get a couple across. But what we're going to need to do first is give an area a walkway so that they can build... And let's go ahead and build a walkway across like this. At least like this. And then we can add in a couple more water wheels into this whole mix to power all these facilities. I think ultimately, not too sure how many facilities are we're going to have. But I think, uh, you know, we can deal with power right here. And if not, we can do another line of power out this way. All right, drought is over. And uh, we have a lot of water left over. I'm going to free up some space here. I want to get rid of these two buildings. And these two. And then ultimately, I want to get rid of these other guys. But uh, I really can't do anything because I don't have any planks yet. But I do have some population. And since I have a lot of lumber, let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll get a worker in here. And then in the farm. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay on the farm. I mean, berries are kind of holding us up. Carrots, we made it through the drought with the carrots. Maybe it's time to add in a couple more farmers. Let's turn this guy in. And we'll get two workers on this. And we'll do another carrot field. I do want to get to level two food. But for now, let's just add in carrots. I do want to put down my large storage facilities. I think I want to put them right here. And we can't build them yet because they just take up an enormous amount of planks. I mean, 80 planks and 60 logs. It's a lot. Let's get that second water wheel in place. And let's even queue up the third one. And it looks like... No, I can't get four. All right, we're getting close to having enough planks and gears to build this second large water tank. So let's go ahead and start building that. That's going to give us 600 water. That's, that's pretty good for our population size. We should be able to last, you know, a good 10 days with the current amount of water storage that we have. If we get two of these going... 
that 600 water will be really good. Our other farm is starting to produce carrots, which is great because we were running low on carrots. We had uh, a decent amount of berries, but our berries are not ready to be harvested. We could harvest the berries in this area, and that would be really helpful if we needed to, but I don't think we need to. Our forestry looks like it's going pretty well, and we're also starting to get in some maple trees, which is nice because that's eight wood a piece. And we got in our second water wheel, so we have 360 power being produced, so we've got excess amount of power if we wanted to put down another facility, which planks, we seem to use a lot of planks, so we're probably going to do more planks. We need a little bit of road right here to connect this up. And there we go. We're going to start filling up that second large water tank, which is awesome. All right. Well, that's it for me and beaver time. I hope you guys enjoyed it because, yeah, man, this is some good stuff. I'm, I'm loving beaver town. I enjoyed it the first time that we played, and I'm having a lot of fun this time. So if you guys enjoy the video, hit that like button. If you're not subscribers, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.